Hey guys, this is Farzy Pong here coming to you with a quick uh, little aspid farm for Arrowcraft. Now this is Arrowcraft 2.9. Um, I believe we should also be working on the on other versions, but the reason you want to be um make an aspid farm, uh, for starters, you do want to get aspid meat. Aspid meat is very good. You use it um raw use it just for that, but um you want to cook it. You use it for worm treats, which is not really that useful, but it's a very big um just alone it gives you regeneration. You can improve it to a higher regeneration with a moss pie and the battle burrito. And then you can also use it for beast treats. Uh, this will help you untamed what is the um, predator, which is the, the lion. It's a pretty good mount, uh, a grand mount for char uh, charging around. And it's a lot easier to make their saddles for uh, beast, um, the beast saddle. So room right here. The beast saddle is a lot easier to do. You need to get a cold biome, kill a couple of and kill some passive mobs and use some iron. This, this is one of the easiest saddles to build, and having a lot of aspen meal will be very helpful. You're also gonna get slime. Slime will um for you for you to know. You can use sticky pistons if you're into redstone, you're not, you can use it for magma, a uh, magma cream, which you can then use for uh, magma blocks or the um mog lava. That's of course you want to do that, but in in the other the other reasons that you also need it for leads if you ever need them. And final but not least is these goose. Um, these are the goose that you need for your um lining to you know so you can not have to worry about the, the temperature too much. It's like me, I'm over here freezing. I'm like, come on. But anyways, uh the main things you're gonna need. Now oh, you also get poison glands, but this only is for um only use they have is using to gain mana on the custom build weapons. It's pretty good. I personally have have it for this because my weapons use a lot. Um I I have level three weapons on my playthrough. And I just love using them. Even though they're not that strong, they're very fun to use. Anyways, the main things you're going to need is, is oak fence and glass pane. I'm going to go ahead and go into creative so I don't just start dying of cold. But pretty much this is what we're looking to do. But first, um, before we do get to building it, you want to get um, in survival two aspids. Uh, and once you get them to, uh, you get two aspids, you're going to wait for them to grow or you're going to breed them. You breed them using mushroom. And you're also bringing them around to you. You see like that. You breed them too. And they start mating and they will give a little miniature aspid. Now, of course, um, the main thing you need to do here is there's gonna be a, a, in survival mode. You're gonna get four of these guys or six, depending how how much you want to do it, and because they do get pretty big. You're gonna um so you start with two, keep breeding them until you get a total of six, wait for all of them to be fully grown, and then prepare something like this. So the main thing, like I mentioned before, glass paint and fans, and just gonna grab a grass block uh, you want to start off um so what you need to do is doing a base you need to have at least three uh, fences in between you can make this as a it's just as a four um, a five by five or i usually like to put four on one side and just three fences on the other one two three four this would be where your killing chamber will be or your babies will fall now why do you need this big because these guys get a little too huge and that will be more apparent on that end so from here you just build up about four to five blocks granted the way you uh the way you do see it here you can also build this underground i do have mine in a mine i don't have mine out in the open and once you do this you can either fill this this side which just um make the border mirroring the bottom the top area or the bottom mirroring me, and making it just solid block just the border itself and then we will need to make the oops i think i missed this up yeah and then we may need to make these glass panes on bottom. So just all glass panes. Now I'll tell you right now why the glass panes are needed. As you noticed, they are huge and the babies are not. So you can just fence this part up. Or you can just put more more blocks depending on how you want to do it. And once you get... Oh, you see? So once you get them all at full size, they're not able to fall down those holes. But the babies will. So you just keep the three to um the six four to six you can have even more you want to but as you can tell right here just four they take a good portion of this area and you just prove that they don't fall down at, at full size having him running around with the shroom and nothing happens so now just go around and go ahead and breathe them up by the way a very good uh thing to use would be using the bobble um the one that you get usually from the towers and for poison and you'll be good to go um so yeah you just 
uh of course you you will have a low quantity you do want to make a lot more you just of course increase the size of the den because they does get pretty packed and if it's too packed you cannot really feed all of them and you'll be losing on efficiency but that's pretty much it you just have them here you wait for them to grow you keep breeding them on top they have they follow the same um passive map mechanics where they have a five minute cooldown between breedings and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video uh like i said it was gonna be a quick video quick tutorial for this pretty much you just want to make this glass paint on top you can also put the bottom area being glass paints this is to make sure you get all your all the mobs to drop from there but because right here once you breed them some babies will get stuck in these corners and they could grow up so your population on top will be increasing little by little with this kind of build from what i've experienced that's pretty much it for this video this is how you're going to make a quick and easy aspid farm where you can actually keep your aspids that you're, that you're going to just keep growing and then just have your killing gem at the bottom so you can actually use like a a weapon that has a range no not range a sweeping with it and looting and all that good stuff but yes that's pretty much it for this video thank you very much for watching and catch you on the next one peace